a lot of anime reactors are dropping this series, not because the series is bad, but because obviously in the game of the YouTube algorithm, you need to make videos that people actually want to watch. And so far, even though I've been having fun, it's been kind of pretty bad, but I hear that so far the story has been kind of like set up. And finally, with this episode moving forward, it's going to be like a huge arc or at least like a first serious arc. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen with this one. Let's begin today's reaction. What is that sign? Okay. Maybe new enemy, new antagonist. I don't know what the symbol is, but might be important. Sees Tayo, Spring Breeze. Sweet. Okay. Tayo versus Sui. Is that the main lineup for this upcoming arc? Government spies. Those are the dudes were government spies in the beginning with Sui. Government, what does that mean though? Spies in the government? As in, they're not on the government side, but we've planted spies within the government? Or the government itself has a team of spies that works with the government to take out other people? How does that work? 500 kilograms. Did we skip a couple steps? I feel like his superhuman strength, after the training arc, he has really spiked in power, but like 500 kilos. And Goriath could die if Tayo fucks up. Uh, Mr. Bucket has pretty much taken out everything. Okay. Saddam? A pill. Do you know what a suppository is? Because, like, I'm not sure if they're trying to do this intentionally. But Saddam, you know, pill, suppository, goes up your booty hole. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, the Bible says something about sodomy and then, you know, the pill form too. You know, I feel like they're intentionally doing this. <laughs> oh, God, it goes up your booty hole and it just explodes, guys. <laughs> Because, you know, poison resistance, it doesn't matter. No, the human body does not have naturally detoxification stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There is an industry? What? You can't do anything in three hours. Are we ever going to see Nanao's actual face? What kind of face do you think this huge person has? Goriath, let's go drive the car. <laughs> Nana was a little bro? Nana was younger? What the fuck? I mean, the voice does sound little. Yeah, for sure, but the, you know, the, the body is like, what? Someone's already taken these guys out. Was it Nano? Or was it the government spies? Clutch? Somebody helped us? That's the government spy. Yeah, it's the same sign again. Right on that thing. It was the same weapon before too. It's I don't know how many pedals this has, but okay. So are we gonna be friends? I mean, he kind of helped us out, but... Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Government dude from the intro scene, and that's Sui. You know my name, Mr. Nearsighted. So he can't see shit right in front, but he can see long distance. This is deal. But on a person that uses this kind of weapon that needs, like, you know, good vision, what the fuck? I guess it's a long range weapon. Sounds like Mash. This is Mash, right? That is his, and he's he's a mushroom bowl cut fucking hairstyle in this anime too. Well, this one has a little bit of jagged bangs, so it's not really mushroom bowl, but okay, Mash is here. Wait, where was his glasses? It was on top of his head, you fucking idiot! 
Well, I mean, he's nearsighted, you know, it's, it's near his head, he couldn't see it. He does seem a little stupid. Hinagiku. So it's spies from the government and not spies planted in the government. We can trust the government people though? Uh, they seem pretty friendly. When did we hear that before? Was it mentioned? Was this ever foreshadowed? This is not MASH, it's Yogiri from Instant Death? Who is it? It seems like we're gonna be allies if anything, huh? Yeah, exactly. Ah, he was Carpaccio from MASH. He's not even MASH. It's just Instant Death Yogiri. Gotcha. What is he, a product? Wonder what Sui thinks of him. Is he like up to par? He's fine, right? He's good, he's good. He's just sleeping. Take the bucket off his head. The fuck was that, bro? I thought we were on the same team! What'd you do that for? No, 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 no. Does Nanao own this lab? He doesn't, right? Okay, that's fucking bullshit logic, dude. He's neutralizing the fucking poison. What if you kill him? What happens? I bet the poison would then go off of inside his body without being neutralized. This is a dumb logic. We can't be friends anymore. What a bunch of fucking dummies, dude. Oh, tire. <laughs> kid brother. I know it's a little brother, but it's just like... <laughs> that's the kid brother, bro. <laughs> Anyways, Tayo's having a pretty cool moment, right? Main character moment? All serious? No, you knock it off. What the fuck is his aura? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, hi, hi. Enemy swordsman shit. We are outmatched. Yeah, we should have not been trusting, huh? I was like, I don't know. They, they seem pretty friendly in the beginning. I thought it was like, shit, I, I don't know. New arc, new group of people, maybe enemies. Well, also started friendly. I'm like, maybe we can trust them. Psych. There's logic on why they need to take out Nana. Was fucking stupid, but it's like, okay, we're enemies now. We should have just shot. Yo, they shit talking our family now. Come on. <laughs> Looks like Olga is not too down with how Sui operates, and Sui's taking a little extreme. So maybe there's still, you know, redemption on the line, but. Someone's got to take this motherfucker out. Tayo gets up or Big Brother Kyoshiro? Someone's got to come clutch. Tayo! No, no. Should be good enough to let us go then. He already had a test ready to prove. Dude, our, our family is so goaded. This motherfucker, he is just. Yeah. It's so cold and calculating. Like, he's being reasonable now only because he's detoxified, but the fact that he was willing to kill him just on the basis of what if it's not detoxified or if it's gonna take too long or some shit. I don't know how to feel about this dude. He's fucked in the head. Everything he does seems to just like. Push it to the most extremes while kind of like following the rules. I don't like dudes like him. Oga, and, oh, people like Oga, where there's a little bit of nuance and reasonable ability, right? He operates within like, he's not as extreme. Like Oga seems to be, nah, let's not do it. There's got to be a different way to do it. So he's like, I'll just fucking kill him. But you're fine? Okay, I'll go now. <laughs> the antidote? No, not antidote. It's the healing cream. I... Yo, oh, chill. We're only like six or seven episodes deep. He needs to grow. You know. What Sui said maybe does make sense, though. You know, on like how Taiyo kind of just put his guard down, was too trusting. 
Didn't even chew first. He's too nice. That's true. It is true. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here. What the fuck is this? Why are we getting barbecued? Uh, this is a little kinky. It's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's, I don't know how to feel about this big bro Kyochi. Why are you putting the ball gag? Why, why you gotta pull in the ball again and do this shit? I, I, any other anime and change the sex, like, even if it was a dude, I, 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 big bro Kyoshiro is sussy as usual. Goryeth though, just watching it as for fun. Punishment? <laughs> failing the mission? What the fuck? Is a newspaper that talks about spy shit? And basically we got humiliated. Well, I don't know how much of the story is told, but... Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Perverted firstborn son's reign of terror is in its last grasp. I mean, you, I mean, look at what you did. You put Taiyo in a ball gag and fucking tied him up like this some BDSM shit. I mean, I don't blame people for assuming that you are perverted, big bro Kyochino, but basically, the newspaper magazines is basically saying shit like, you know, Yosa could have fell off, right? Yosa could have fucking watched. Kyochino, he's fucking watched. Watch. He's gonna go kill the reporter now. <laughs> what is this? A fucking app store? You know, it's like a, it's got a, not an app, maybe not an app store, I'm like a restaurant rating on Google, right? You go fucking review bomb like you also could have found it. Like, oh, their service fucking sucks. It's one star. He's right. Gone for who? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was he implying if you're gonna kill somebody, should have killed Tayo instead of Nano there? What was that implication? If you were gonna kill someone, you should have gone for a who? What's the blank? Am I supposed to assume Tayo instead of, you know, Nano? <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it based off of their reaction. That doesn't seem genuine. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Mutsumi <laughs> removing Tayo's bulk. This is true though. We just stalled and you have to detoxify in time. This is good though, right? Anytime a shonen protagonist, he needs to face these kind of situations to get even better. So next time we meet Hinagiku, you know that... I know that... What's his name? Soe? Sui? He's not an antagonist. I don't think so. Maybe he's on opposing sides and maybe there'll be missions where we might need to fight them. But like, I don't think he's a bad guy. It's just the way that he treats things was so fucking extreme. But next time we meet him, I hope that like, we'll be able to like, go beyond them. Because he actually looked down on us. Both. You're such a speck in the family, it doesn't matter, is what he's saying. What do you mean defeat? Take down the entire government spy group? Oh? Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Okay. See, so you know how I said him taking an extreme is sometimes fucked up? In this situation, I do want it to take an extreme. What a piece of shit, bro. In a fucking train just going like this, being loud. Oh my god, I hate people like this in public spaces that like act so selfish. And expect other people to like form around them. So we cut his fucking legs off. Long legs? Cut it off right now. <laughs> Just pulls up a plate. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nice boxers. <laughs> nice fucking boxers. One thing about his powers. Every time it goes to the earring. And it does like this. And then some kind of blue green aura appears. Then he does the he does the fucking you know, let me get my sword. He does the fucking <laughs> You know what what is this earring? What is, what is this? Chiribana. <laughs> Senzon what is it? Senzon Sakura I forgot the name. Not yet, right, is he? It's Sen Bon Sakura, not Sen Don. We're not gonna kill him, but steal their intel. Spy on him. Spy on a spy? <laughs> spy on a spy. Spyception. What the fuck is going on? Sui, though. 
Again, I, I'm just taking a little bit personally because he tried to kill Nana, even though he was kind of within the rights to do so in in order to save the world or some shit. I don't know, but this dude, I got mixed feelings about him. It's fucking sick. Yo, see. Teach Tayo. You think he'd be willing to teach him? <laughs> it's like he's like just floating. The government spy group has their own movement skill. It's basically flash step. Well, not really flash step. Flash step is like basically just like one place to another, like boom, like this. This is just like super fast. Yo! We need to learn this movement skill from him. We need to make Tayo be able to do this. Yes! It's that earring again, bro! <laughs> In the middle of the public. What is up with Sui and stripping people naked, bro? I guess it's better than just cutting a person down, right? <laughs> but he seems to just... I don't know, he keeps making people naked. At least the other dude, he had his boxes on. We didn't even wear boxes today? What's going on? I didn't see any boxers that getting cut up. <laughs> okay, tailing day, day one. It's, uh, Uga? Ugo? Why'd you say Ara there with the full fucking angle? Like, you can see everything right there, Ara. <laughs> Sui and Tayo? Is this a... Uh, some people could meme about this and they're probably fucking shipping this bullshit too, right? They're like, nah, fuck, fuck Mutsumi and Tayo. <laughs> Tayo is a married husband to a wife and bro's getting stripped naked by another dude right now multiple times. <laughs> Lunch day, day three. On the building? Damn! How the fuck... The sword, he's leaning on it. What about Olga? What the fuck? He's improved because he still has his clothes on by evening. That's like pretty much like the metric to tell like how much he's improving. When is he naked? Oh, guys, even like. Oh, here it is. Wait! 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 This is progress. He has his pants on this time. We made it to the evening and didn't get fully stripped. We made progress. Even Sui right there, yeah? Acknowledged. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what, what did she say? <laughs> Don't leave the naughty bits go- Wait, wait, Oka, what are you fucking saying? <laughs> Even before on the train, when Taya got stripped, Oka was like, Ara, as he saw, you know, Taya naked. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not me making the jokes. August, I'm just reading the subtitles, dude! <laughs> Both of you idiots. Both of you fucking idiots can think. Oh my god, that's a lot of cabbage. What the fuck you making? He was cutting the cap? He is using Tayo as a cutting board? Either Tayo's back is so sturdy that it can't take the cuts, or Big Bro Kyochiro was doing it so precisely that every time it reached the skin, he just stopped. What was it? It's... I... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck. Because you almost died, little bro, because of our mistake. Oh. When he jumped off the building too, that was a good moment. <laughs> what? No. But I do think that Sui gets off from naked people naked. And I think that Oga enjoys watching people naked as well. I don't know if Tayo does, but Sui and Oga, they're kind of sussy. <laughs> Habit. Brain blast moments. Habit. How can we use a habit? Does Oga have some habits? Does Sui have some habits? 
Hmm, we can use this to win next time. I'm not really following though. What happened here? What is this grave though? Oh, fuck the blade is actually out instead of just doing Okay. Yeah, you're monologuing too much, bro. You're gonna lose now. New soundtrack? Maybe Tayo did notice the earrings, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Habit, 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 habit is if he can read this, because it seems like the cuts happen after this. Oh, he saw it. He got cut, but cut, I don't know. It, it worked, it worked. Yeah. Oh, it's not about the earrings. It's about the first blow always landing in the center. It's Sui's habit of going for the center. You can predict him. You're not gonna actually bite him? You're not gonna actually bite him, right? Naruhodo. Takara Yosakura wa kono to. Oga, teateo. Oga was here? Wait, 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 wait. Oga was hiding as a doomstone the entire time. I'm like, where was he today? Okay, so we acknowledge We heal him. Still got cut up, but. You know. That's gotta be the most like tiger parent, like Asian parent, like compliment where they don't tell you that like you did a good job, but it's like, hmm, not bad, I guess. And it's like, oh, wait, wait, that wasn't an insult. So, you know, it, it, it's like he, 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 he sees it, he acknowledges. I've also altered my perception of Sui. I still think what he did to Nanao in the beginning was fucked up. But it's always for the greater sake of the mission. And maybe he takes it so extreme because of what happened in the past, which may relate to that gravestone, right? Maybe someone died because he wasn't being thorough enough and he needs to take it extremely. Maybe. If that's the case, then I could totally understand. New, new articles are being written? Now he's just a fucking pervert. <laughs> Even the kids are like, fuck, cover your eyes. So, so instead of being a fucking, you know, a loser, now, now the fucking, the magazines are making Tayo into a pervert. How did they get all those pictures, man? Who's out there? They're not even thinking that we like they are, are they thinking that we did this out of our own fetish like wait wait why are you talking like like they're, you're accepting us hold up we're being framed here <laughs> Mutsumi is fine with Tayo making an OnlyFans I guess and that's the episode man today's episode yes it, it it was a little bit of like a training arc but it's cool to see the world expanding as we get to know other characters so there's a new group of people government spies Hinaguki or some shit and they are not like villains but they're sometimes like could be in the opposing side because we're obviously different spy groups so and there's got to be more than one you know two members of the hina hina giku right there has to be it's not just sui and oga but they seem pretty good oga is funny he has you know nearsightedness and he just glasses but it's on the top of his head he didn't fucking know his choice of weapons is interesting you know because of his vision but sui weapon choice sword it's it's so cool whenever i start anime swordsman doing like shit like it, it, uh, come on, that, that, that's just all me, right? Like, I love that kind of aesthetic. His personality, in the beginning, I fucking hated it. The way that he approached, you know, the situation with Nanao was so extremely. But, at the end, he, he, he is understanding. And he is just trying to be very thorough. And if his, like, um... If the way that he treats his mission so extremely is because of what happened in the past, that re may relate to the gravestone then I can totally understand. So I think Sui is also a fantastic character. Tayo is just going through a little bit of kinky shit today. I, I don't know. He was like tied up in a ball gag. That, that was a little sussy. Then he was basically just naked all day. That was also kind of sussy. I don't know. And, and then Big Brother Kyochido was also using him as a cutting board. There's, there's a lot of sus fucking moments today if you really think about it. 
Taiyu is just being used up in, in in the weirdest ways possible. At least Mutsumi is like, you know what? If I, I'll love you no matter what. So Mutsumi is fine if Taiyu opens up an OnlyFans, I guess. And Nano actually thinks that we're into this exhibi exhibitionism, but that's that's not really us. But this is cool to see a different group of people, some people with different movement skills that we could maybe even learn. I don't know. And then moving forward, I wonder what kind of arc this is gonna be. Is this called the Hinaguki arc? A Giku arc? I don't really know, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't get this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.